today we're going to be talking about different operations with functions. And we've really done a lot of this stuff before. What you need to realize is this notation here means I'm adding two functions together. So when you see f plus g in parentheses with an x outside, that just means f of x plus g of x. A common mistake is students like to multiply another x inside. No, it's just adding two functions together. When you see the notation of f minus g, that just means f of x minus g of x. fg just means f of x times g of x. And then f of x divided by g of x means division. And what you need to keep in mind is when we divide functions, make sure to note any domain restrictions. Basically, you're going to tell me the x values that x can't be because the bottom function can equal zero because you're going to be undefined. So you need to make sure you tell me the x values x cannot be. Okay, our first example. We are given that f of x is 4x squared plus 3x minus 1. And we are given that g of x is 6x plus 2. And what we're trying to do is we have this notation again means f of x minus the other function of g of x. So what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to take your f of x function, substitute in f of x, 4x squared plus 3x minus 1, then subtract, and then in parentheses put 6x plus 2. So then it's just a matter of working out and combining like terms. 4x squared plus 3x minus 1. Distribute the negative 1 through. That's why I put these 6x plus 2 in parentheses. So that's like a minus 6x minus 2. Oh, I forgot my 1. That's why that 1 was there. Minus 1 minus a 6x minus a 2. 4x squared. I have nothing to combine that with. Now it's just combining like terms. We've been doing this. You've been doing this since Algebra 1. Negative 3x minus 3. Our next example. Multiplying and dividing functions. We're given f of x is 6x squared minus x minus 12. g of x is 2x minus 3. Remember, this means f of x and then multiply by the function of g of x. So substitute in what f of x is. That is 6x squared minus x minus 12 times the function of g of x, which is 2x minus 3. Now you can choose either method. You can choose the box method. You can choose the um, distributive property. I'm going to do the box method. I like that method because that helps organize, I think. So you have a three by two box. Along the side, put your binomial or your two term function. Along the top, put the trinomial or the three term function. Sticking the number three, so I put a three there. Now it's just taking and multiplying. 6x squared times 2x is a 12x cubed. Negative x times a 2x is a negative 2x squared. Negative 12 times 2x, negative 24x. Negative 18x squared, 3x. And then a positive 36. Now just combine the like terms. I have nothing to combine the 12x cubed with. Negative 2x squared minus 18x squared. That's a negative 20x squared minus 21x plus 36. Now dividing functions. And I have a note here. Make sure when we're dividing functions, we note any domain restrictions, meaning the bottom can't be 0. You can't divide by zero. F of x, g of x. So f of x. So I put in 
6x squared minus x minus 12 divided by g of x, which is 2x minus 3. Now let's take and try and factor 6x squared minus 12. Let's see if 2x minus 3 is a factor. So I take... I take the 6, I multiply it to the 12. So I have 6x squared minus x minus 72. Two things will multiply to be 72, but add to be a negative 1. They're going to be 1 away from each other. Luckily, I have a negative 9 and a positive 8. Now, the most common mistake, people forget to divide those last terms by what they multiplied by. Now, reduce those fractions. Um... 3 halves, divide each by 2, 4 thirds. Now take the 2 swings up, the 3 swings up. So we get 2x minus 3 times a 3x plus 4. So we have a 2x minus a 3 times a 3x plus 4 all over a 2x minus 3. Those cancel. So we're left with 3x plus 4. Now make sure you take note of your domain restrictions. The bottom can't be 0. So x cannot be 3 halves. So our final answer is a simplified version with what x can't be. And remember, you set, to figure out what x can't be, you set the bottom equal to 0, and you solve that equation. Okay, composition. This is new for you. You haven't seen composition of functions before. So what you're going to do, the composition of two functions, f and g, is denoted as this. It's sometimes called a fog function, because that looks like the word fog. So then you do f of g of x, and the domain of that is all values of x in the domain of g, but also that are in the domain of f. And that's called f of g of x. So whenever you see this notation, and I'm going to be using that, or even this notation, you read it as f of g of x. And really what you're doing is putting one function inside of another. So... Given f of x and g of x, find each value. So, always do inside the parentheses first. Do g of 4. Find that value. g of 4 is 7 minus 4. g of 4 is going to be equal to 3. Now, substitute 3 in. So, I'm trying to find now f of g of 4. Well, g of 4 was 3. So now plug in 3 wherever you see an x. So I have 2 to the x, because that's what 2 to the 3rd, because 2 to the x is what f of x was. 2 to the 3rd, that's going to be 8. Okay, now do the inside first. Find f of 4. f of 4. Well, that's 2 to the 4th, that's going to be 16. Now substitute that in. So we're going to find g now of 16. So g of 16 is going to be 7 minus 16. Well, that answer is going to be a negative 9. So that's with numbers. Now what we're going to be doing... We're going to be doing this with functions. And I have kind of a notation here. Because we're going to be finding the domain of f of g of x. So when we're finding the domain restrictions, you have to look at the original. So g of x, our domain restriction, is look at what the bottom can't be since it's a rational function. x cannot be 1. f of x, I have no domain restriction since it's a polynomial. So I'm looking for f of g of x. g of x is the entire function of x over 1 minus x. Now, 
f of x. f of x is x squared minus 1. I have x squared minus 1. What is x? x is this entire piece. So that entire piece, that entire function, x for 1 minus x goes inside the parentheses. Now, it's just a matter of simplifying. x squared over 1 minus x squared minus 1. And I'm going to do a whole bunch of algebra here. x squared over, multiplying at the bottom, that's 1 minus 2x plus x squared <laughs> minus 1. And let's leave it like that. We can actually leave it like that. You know what, I'll let you guys leave it as the factored form. Now, but you have to see what x can't be. x cannot be 1, because that was originally our domain restriction at g of x, but that's also going to make the bottom of that function 0. Next example, g of g of x. Okay, so now I have g of g of x, which is x over 1 minus x. Now g of x. g of x is the function of x over 1 minus x. But x is the entire function of x over 1 minus x. x over 1 minus x. Now, again, it's a matter of simplifying. And this is why we learned those complex fractions. Our numerator. Change that 1 into 1 minus x over 1 minus x minus an x over a 1 minus an x. So that's our whole bottom. Leaving the top alone still, let's just worry about simplifying the bottom. Simplifying the bottom. 1, 1 minus x minus another x, that's minus 2x over 1 minus x. So I have x times 1 minus x times a 1 minus an x over a 1 minus a 2x. I kept the top the same, changed the sign of multiplication, and I took the reciprocal of the bottom. What cancels? Those 1 minus x's cancel. So I'm just left with x over 1 minus 2x. So that's what that function is, but now I need to look at my domain restrictions. I was dealing with the function g of x. In g of x, x cannot be 1. Even though when I simplify, it doesn't look like that's an answer because that was an original domain restriction, x cannot be 1. Now, in the bottom there, x can also not be, set that bottom equal to 0, x cannot be 1 half. So that is also part of your answers. You have to look at the original function, as I have listed here in pink, and the end simplified function. Those are the two things you need to look at. There are your lesson questions for the day. Please make sure those are submitted on time.